the third stage of the Vuelta a España, unfolded with a dramatic finish as Wout van Aert showcased his formidable sprinting prowess to narrowly outpace Caden Groves and claim victory in Castello Branco. This win marks Van Aert's first triumph since February, bringing a much-needed boost to his season and significant satisfaction after a previous stage setback. The stage, spanning 191.5 kilometers from Lusa to Castello Branco, was a true test of endurance and strategy. As the riders faced two categorized climbs and a challenging route, the peloton was kept on its toes. In the final kilometers, it became clear that this was a stage for the sprinters, with the pace ramping up to a blistering 53.8 kilometers h in the closing stretches. Van Art, representing the Visma Lease a bike team, demonstrated tactical brilliance by launching his sprint with exceptional timing. My plan was to use my strength and to launch early, surprising Caden Groves by going before even 200 meters, Van Art explained. His strategy paid off as he surged ahead of Groves, who had bested him in a previous sprint. This victory not only allowed Van Aert to savor his first win in months, but also gave him a moment of redemption. The final moments of the stage were a nail-biter. With just under two kilometers to go, Victor Campenarts of Lotto DSTNY made a daring solo attack, but the front runners quickly reeled him in. The lead-up to the final sprint saw intense maneuvering as teams jostled for position, highlighting the tactical depth required in such a high-stakes race. In the end, Van Aert's powerful sprint proved unbeatable. Alpecin de Suning's Caden Groves, who had previously won Stage 2, had to settle for second place. Euskaltel Euskadi's John Aberasturi rounded at the podium, showcasing the fierce competition among sprinters in this year's Vuelta. Reflecting on his performance, Van Aert acknowledged the support of his team, which played a crucial role in his victory. The team was so strong, and they brought me into the perfect position in the end. They gave me the confidence to finish it off, he said. Despite his current lead in the general classification, Van Aert expressed some uncertainty about maintaining his position beyond the next stage, especially with the challenging terrain ahead. This win also meant a significant shift in the overall standings. Van Aert now leads the GC by 13 seconds over Brandon McNulty of UAE Team Emirates. The stage not only solidified his position at the top, but also demonstrated his readiness for the remaining grueling stages of the Vuelta. With the stage concluded, the focus shifts to the upcoming challenges, as the peloton continues its journey through Spain. For now, Wout van Aert savors the sweet taste of victory and the satisfaction of a well-executed plan coming to fruition. Stay subscribed for more videos.